Hi YouTube friends, welcome to another great video. Uh, this one's on my Moto X uh, smartphone. It's a great phone. And this is going to be a excellent video for you because we're going to discuss best practices for your uh, Moto X or for any smartphone for that matter. Best practices and especially best practices for your battery. Please don't make the mistake that I did with the battery <laughs> and I'll explain that to you shortly uh, it's a very important step about the battery uh, to begin with let me just show you my phone this is the Moto X it's a great phone it has great battery life and I like the fact that it was uh, assembled in the USA and designed in the USA it's meticulously handcrafted designed and put together it's a well-built phone as you can see I have the uh, outer box commuter series case on it for protection I like the outer box cases it has uh, rubber covers for the jacks on the charger and a rubber cover on the top for your headphone and I like how it keeps the dust and debris out of your phone it keeps it protected all the way around it's a great case for the screen I have a uh, Moshi uh, screen protector which uh, was available at the AT&T store this is the crystal clear iVisor XT it's a hundred percent bubble free removable and washable it's a static screen saver protector and you can actually take it off wash it in water and reapply it back onto your phone I never did that I never had to but I guess if you want to take it off and wash it you can and you just reapply it and that's a really good feature it's uh, it, it really is crystal clear and it doesn't have a scratch on it and I keep the phone in my pocket I knock it around I've even dropped it twice the uh, Outer box protects it well, and so does the Moshi uh, screen saver. The other thing I like to do is, and this is just me, here I have uh, Monster Screen Clean. This is for TVs, but it works just as good on an iPhone or a smartphone. You just use a little spray on a microfiber cloth. Don't spray it on the phone and you just wipe it down and it gets all that stuff off your phone from throughout the day and it microfiber cloth does not scratch it and it looks like brand new and I have this phone about uh, three months coming up on four months now and the important thing I wanted to uh, discuss with you was the uh, was the battery here we'll just put this aside uh, it comes of course with a uh, Motorola Moto X battery charger and USB cable and I had been charging the phone and the battery life had been great up until about a few weeks after owning it I noticed that the battery life wasn't as good as it was when it was new I called Motorola and I spoke with them over the phone and they're extremely courteous and very prompt on answering the phone and they did a over-the-air diagnostic test on the phone and they didn't find anything wrong with it I was knocking my brains out trying to figure out why the battery life wasn't that good so I'm showing you the battery app and what I want to show you here on the bottom there's a graph it says right here awake and you can see this these little blue digits on here on the battery awake graph now of course there's other graphs on there but this is the one I was concerned with awake and I was monitoring that and I noticed that this awake graph was continuous blue solid blue so apparently the phone was not going to sleep now when it goes to sleep that's when you shut it off or the screen is off and it saves your battery a lot of power well mine wasn't going to sleep and I was knocking my brains out trying to figure out why it wasn't going to sleep I was searching the internet you know for about a week every day trying to find out why is my phone not going to sleep well I found out what the culprit was I charged the phone at home with 
the Moto X supplied charger and cable. At work I was charging the phone with my other Motorola charger. This is the one that came with my Atrix 2 which was also a great phone. It still is a great phone. And the USB cable also. It's official Motorola. This came with my Atrix 2. That's where I started to notice the uh, difference. Turns out Atrix 2 charger is uh, it's for both 5 volts. The Atrix 2 charger is 850 milliamps and the Moto X is 1150 milliamps. When I started exclusively going back to the Moto X charger the problem went away. Now it could be because of the milliamps or it also could be because the wiring in the different USB cables they could be wired different you know for charging the phone so when the instructions that come with your phone call for using the charger and cable that is supplied with your phone you should always use that always use the one that comes with your phone and you won't have the problem that I did. I even downloaded this app here called CPU Spy and you can see it has a graph on there for deep sleep the phone is now deep sleeping normally before this graph didn't even appear when I was having the problem so this is a pretty cool app too it tells you some other things about the phone it's also a good idea to save on your battery uh, to turn off all the accessories I have a toggle on here I never keep the Wi-Fi on unless I'm using it I turn it off I keep uh, locations off and I keep the uh, screen usually to the very lowest setting as you can see I'm pretty frugal but I'll turn it up here for you that's automatic and you should also turn your phone on and off reboot it you know every day or every couple of days and that'll clear out also any bugs that you might have in your phone that's uh, another good practice so I hope that helps you out I don't know if you had problems with your battery or not but don't do that what I did and don't make the mistake that I did always use the factory supplied charger and cable that come with your phone and you should have excellent battery life like I do now with this phone sometimes up to three days on idle average one at least one two days with moderate use so I hope that helps you out and I hope you found that interesting uh, don't forget to click like and please subscribe uh, to my channel please send me any questions or comments uh, on my videos I'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have I really enjoy helping you out and thanks for viewing and we'll see you again real soon